What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. A quick update today, seemingly corroborating our biggest story from over a week ago that Ryan Reynolds was asked by Marvel Studios to sign the biggest contract in MCU history, that by length of films. And today, an industry insider weighing in with some great news regarding Deadpool 3 and the future of his involvement with the MCU. We're going to break down where this is coming from, what he said, and guys, it's truly exciting, as well as even tie it to some earlier rumors we heard about Marvel's interest in a rated R label as well as what huge team could be coming that Deadpool could be a part of and no it's not the Avengers we're gonna break it all down but first if you could grab the subscribe button we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff including this insane one fourth scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill and our third and final Infinity Saga box set if you want to be entered to win all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, as I mentioned moments ago in the prologue, it was just over a week ago the news broke that the MCU had approached Ryan Reynolds, again this unconfirmed, but from trusted sources, and asked him to sign the biggest contract in MCU history. That's why it wasn't surprising when just 12 hours ago, via his Patreon, industry insider Daniel Richman came out with the news and confirmed Deadpool 3 is in development as well as Deadpool 4. And then you think about the fact that they were asking him to do a ton of movies. Yeah, that was other ancillary movies, other team movies, and we're going to get to that. But of course, they would already be thinking about Deadpool 3 and 4. And we were just talking about this yesterday, the fact that Spider-Man 3's concept art, a bit of it, was in the Spider-Man Far From Home book. When they start doing the narratives and the storyboarding for the scripts for these, they're thinking them a couple of movies down the road. That's the luxury of having a successful Marvel Cinematic universe you know that those films are coming and even though the landscape is just a little bit questionable right now especially with the reorganization as we talked about the other day as well with what's going on at Disney Deadpool is a huge franchise and if any movies are going to see the chopping block Deadpool a billion dollar franchise definitely isn't. Now, of course, we covered a rumor from 4chan, so remember to take it with a grain of salt alongside a ton of other Phase 4 leaks that said that Marvel was eyeing and interested in a rated R label called Marvel Max in which they could release properties like Deadpool and others they could cross over in a rated R capacity and then still find their way into the PG-13 side of the MCU when crossovers called for it but when they were allowed to coexist with each other when their violence called for it, characters such as not only Deadpool but the Punisher then they would have a rated R label where their movies could exist now it's funny that I would mention Punisher and another thing we mentioned in the prologue there is a team that Deadpool could be eyed for that is set to be set up in the earliest parts of Marvel Phase 4, both Black Widow and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and that's very obviously the Thunderbolt. Now, in a later incarnation of the team, Deadpool was a member alongside the Punisher, and if they're asking Ryan Reynolds to sign one of the biggest contracts in MCU history, that's by the number of films he's asked to be in. Of course, no one no one will probably ever top Robert Downey Jr.'s take from just those last couple of films, Infinity War and Avengers Endgame alone, but either way, if they're asking him to do a ton of films, it would make sense that there's more than one team up or crossover in his future, and when you think about what he's already brought to the table, the Avengers may be not a great fit, but a group of anti-heroes like the Thunderbolts would be perfect. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments, both the fact that Deadpool 3 and 4 are both in production, and what should Marvel do with these rated R properties? keep them rated R indeed but then how are they going to cross over and if not just Deadpool and the Punisher are there other properties you can think of namely Moon Knight even though that's already on Disney Plus I'm not sure how they would do that that should be rated R I'm all ears and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go we're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros the next of which is at the 700,000 subscriber mark we're literally days away from that if you want to be entered to win all you have to do is hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell leave a like and a comment on this video and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel like this insane one fourth scale xm studios beta ray bill will give away at 750,000 subscribers and our third and final infinity saga box set we gave away two already earlier this year we're giving away this third and final one in december during the holiday season regardless of the subscriber count if you want to be entered to win either of the playstations the beta ray bill this infinity saga box set or any of the future prizes we give away here at the channel all the same rules will always apply 
hit the subscribe button, then make sure to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on to keep up with the videos. Leave a like and a comment on this video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of the videos, the same way we're doing here. And if you've missed any of the previous winner announcements, no worries, all you have to do, scroll back through the channel, look for the words winner announcement and sub count in the title, click on those videos and scroll to the end. My name is Michael Roman, this is everything always guys, thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around, we'll be posting again real real soon.